<laughs> All right, we'll do that. So our um, guests today are Justin Nielsen, who is going to be playing the piano today, and Andrew Nemmer, who is going to be tap dancing today on his portable floor right there. And then I will be on the canvas. So I've got my paints all set up over there. And I'll be creating something on canvas according to whatever I'm feeling from the music tonight. But the first thing we wanted to do today is start with a scripture reading. So I'm going to open us with that. And today we're going to be reading and responding to the Beatitudes in Matthew 5. So this is verse 1 through 12. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up, to, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So now we're going to read the next couple of verses out of a different translation. This is going to be out of the message. And Justin is going to read this part. So this is starting in verse 13, the message translation. Let me tell you why you are here. You are here to be salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. If you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? You've lost your usefulness and will end up in the garbage. Here's another way to put it. You're here to be light, bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. We're going public, public with this, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now that I put you there on a hilltop, on a light stand, shine. Keep open house, be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. That's so cool. So that really kind of struck you when you heard it a few years ago about the, the what is it, the God flavors? The, the the God. God flavors and the God colors. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us yeah. about that? Yeah. So, so you want me to talk yeah. about what, what I'm going to play story. and stuff, what we're going to do? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're going um, to be playing, uh, or I guess it's just me. I've never done it solo before, actually. Mm. My first solo piano yeah. uh, attempt at this. Uh, mm. But uh, uh, I wrote this, um, I think around 2008, actually. Um, mm. And uh, uh, this, cool. the, this translation of the Beatitudes was the inspiration that that uh, that translation where he talks oh. about bringing out the God colors yeah. uh, in the world. And uh, uh, so then, uh, actually this music came to me faster than anything I've ever written before. It was just one of those things that was almost like an instantaneous download, one of those things that really, really kind of inspired. I mean, I felt yeah. when I was done, I was really excited. It took me about, I think, an hour just to be done with the whole thing, the whole thing done. Wow. And, and, uh, and it was a beautiful, for me, it was, musically speaking, this is maybe departing from the scripture itself, but just um, uh, an expression of this, uh, uh, 
this expression of, 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 of God and bringing it into music, it was like the first time I'd done that sort of overtly, I guess, like yeah. with that as an intention. Uh, and uh, so, so each movement, so I'm going to play, so tonight I'm actually going to play one song that isn't these, and then the last three songs are, are three sort of meditations or almost prayers uh, for the experience of these different attributes, these different God colors through basically so um uh, uh the first movement is wisdom the second movement is joy and the third movement is peace and uh i've done these enough i've done it i've done this in a lot of different churches and uh played a lot now I've played it definitely more times than i can count at this point and i do love that somehow i feel like uh, when we're playing joy i can feel his joy feel it in that moment and it's a way for me now um almost to pray and know that an answer is coming <laughs> as like, mus musically speaking like i know i'm gonna feel this so it's just wonderful it to me it's a it's a great experience and i do feel like it came from me but yeah so it's uh, uh, uh but the inspiration was was that verse uh, i just i read that we're here to bring out the, the god colors in the world and, uh, i don't know it's kind of yeah, I remember that's the title that you first told me. Oh, really? Yeah, Did I call you were it? like God colors. God colors. I yeah. call it God colors. First. Then, I don't remember then that. You, um, then you decided it to, to go divine with colors. divine colors. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is this is truly. Um, people have come up to you at these performances. You did it in the Sapphire Room once mm -hmm. in, in a bar, mm -hmm. and there were people that came up to you afterwards that were telling you things that yeah. they, they had experienced in the room that was really foreign to them. Yeah, yeah, I had someone come up to me after, what I'm saying, I was an atheist until tonight. Yeah. 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 And uh, also someone came up to me after one uh, saying that they were healed sort of yeah. miraculously at the, at the yeah. vineyard when they did it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, um, yeah. That's it's happened a cool couple of different places, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. so it's been a really fun journey yeah. Yeah. and it means a lot to me the music represents oh man I, I to me i always end up going back to the people i played it with the most yeah. you know or the places i've played it or we have people that have been touched by it, but it, it, it it's it carries with a lot of just great memories and i think in a time like now when you do anything that feels that's half normal half like what's something you would have done before or just reminds you of relationships and, um, I mean I'm right now I'm thinking about a lot of my students that have played it and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, somehow that you know I, through that music I can remember you know what we kind of went through together um, and then there's there's God color there's, there's a, God touch those relationships yeah. and, uh, through this music Well, what's your prayer for tonight? Because I know that sometimes you have a sort of different deal with. Yeah, I would pray for healing. Yeah. Or uh, I would pray for peace. Mm -hmm. We're talking about like these are these are meditations on wisdom, which I think we all need right now. Absolutely. Joy, which we all need right now, just to remember that there is joy in the morning. There's joy. Mm -hmm. Waiting, he's waiting to show us his joy right now. You know, I don't know if it's this case for you guys, but for me, I'm more open to him uh, during this time than I have been in years. I think something about that. When things become more unstable outside of you, you go to the thing that is that you can always count on. And uh, so, yeah, so I, I would pray for people to experience his wisdom have wisdom in their life as a result of it. Feel joy. Um, and then the last movement is peace. And uh, another thing I would pray that everybody watching this feels his peace. And, and, and know, he, know he knows you and loves you. Your feet can do all the adding. <laughs> you can do the talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been thinking about 
about like in this in this time period a lot. And how it's like that that two line if, if if you have that two line or if it's gonna be like a new seed for some people that in a time such as this they're gonna experience joy when the rest of the world might not be. What does that look like? And how can they share that in ways that that honors the experience that other people are going through but still is a reminder that this does exist. Mm-hmm. And it's important that we remember and that we experience that, even in times where the major trend or the major like, cultural zeitgeist might be not be that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's been a big thing for me personally in the past couple of years. Of course. So. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. Radiating because we're portable. I mean, he's portable. <laughs> he's portable. I like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We get to go wherever. Yeah. The shoes of peace, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, every time I think about this for, for what I'm going to paint tonight, I'm, I'm thinking shoes. shoes. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> 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 shoes of peace. All right. Shoes so, of peace. Okay. I will be doing multiple shoes here, including your famous flip flops. All right. right. Sir. Yes, um, indeed. And top shoes, and probably yeah, not yeah. my own because I can't really <laughs> do a foot and self it portrait. <laughs> it wouldn't be quite as cool. But yeah, I'm probably going to superimpose some a lot of different tap um, shoes as you paint tonight or as you dance tonight. Um, and, I, and I may include yours too. And I get my not, bare but feet every now. time I know, <laughs> I have painted your feet before in oh, my yeah. journal during some of your concerts oh, at Arts funny. West. <laughs> yeah, <that's funny. laughs> like, this dude has bare feet. I don't like your shoes. <laughs> awesome. I can avoid yeah. it. I, mean, I, do. I know you got in trouble for that one. Too. I did. No. <laughs> we won't go into that. I was fired once. Oh, no. <laughs> No, I was fired from a job, yeah. Well, on our guitar, but, uh, Claudio, you can wear as much bare feet as you want. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Dang. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to start, and we're going to do our little setup here, and we'll um, begin our music in a little bit. And first, the first thing we're going to do, while you guys are setting up, I'll, I'll explain about the atmospheric conditions that we have here. <laughs> um, I'm going to refer to my Bible as I paint tonight. Um, so we're in a neighborhood, and we've got thanks, Andrew. Mm-hmm. So we've got some different. Um, we've got truck noises, and we've got airplanes that fly overhead. We're right on the flight path to the Boise Airport, um, and we've got little kids playing in yards next door, and cement trucks, and all sorts of stuff. So if you hear that, that's why it is a neighborhood experience. Um, and uh, the other thing I was, I was going to mention is um, I hope you guys can uh, go to artministry.org sometime and uh, just kind of look around there. Um, I'm actually launching a group. It's a community group for artists that will begin on August 24th in the evening um, in 2020. So if you're around and if you're watching us live um, tomorrow night, you might want to check on that. It's going to be for artists of all kinds, and we just want to bring out the God colors in this world together. We can do more together than we ever could have done. So let's keep that in mind. So the first song that we're going to be doing tonight is um, not uh, Divine Colors yet. Um, I don't know what we're opening with. It's called Praise. Okay, Praise it is. Thank you. 
Actually, without it, when I, when I, oh, you got my shoes, you got my, 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 my feet in there. I did think I want Andrew to take the solo at the end of this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right, divine colors, wisdom, joy, and peace.
thank you for tuning in. That didn't even need an amen. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching.